The aircraft diesel engine or aero diesel has not been widely used as an aircraft engine. Diesel engines were used in airships and were tried in aircraft in the late 1920s and 1930s, but never widely used. Their main advantages are their excellent specific fuel consumption, the reduced flammability and somewhat higher density of their fuel, but these have been outweighed by a combination of inherent disadvantages compared to gasoline-fueled or turboprop engines. The ever-rising cost of Avgas and doubts about its future availability have spurred a resurgence in aircraft diesel engine production in the early 2010s. Using diesel engines in aircraft is additionally advantageous from the standpoint of environmental protection as well as the protection of human health, since the tetraethylene anti-knock ingredient of Avgas has long been known to be highly toxic as well as polluting. Topic. Development Topic Early diesel aircraft A number of manufacturers built diesel aero engines in the 1920s and 1930s, the best known were the Packard air-cooled radial, and the Junkers Jumo 205, which was moderately successful, but proved unsuitable for combat use in World War II. The Blohm and Voss BV-138 trimotor maritime patrol flying boat, however, was powered with the more developed Junkers Jumo 207 powerplant, and was more successful with its trio of diesel Jumo 207s conferring upwards of a maximum 2,100 km 1,300 mile combat radius upon the nearly 300 examples of the BV-138 built during World War II. The first successful diesel engine developed specifically for aircraft was the Packard Drive 980 radial diesel of 1928-1929, which was laid out in the familiar air-cooled radial format similar to Wright and Pratt and Whitney designs, and was contemporary with the Beardmore Tornado used in the R101 airship. The use of a diesel had been specified for its low fire risk fuel. The first successful flight of a diesel-powered aircraft was made on September 18, 1928, in a Stinson model SM-1DX Detroiter registration number X7654. Around 1936 the heavier but less thirsty diesel engines were only preferred over gasoline engines when flight time was over 6 to 7 hours. Entering service in the early 1930s, the two-stroke Junkers Jumo 205 opposed piston engine was much more widely used than previous aero diesels. It was moderately successful in its use in the Blohm and Voss Ha 139 and even more so in airship use. In Britain Napier and Son license built the larger Junkers Jumo 204 as the Napier Culverin, but it did not see production use in this form. A Daimler-Benz diesel engine was also used in Zeppelins, including the ill-fated LZ-129 Hindenburg. This engine proved unsuitable in military applications and subsequent German aircraft engine development concentrated on gasoline and jet engines. The Soviet World War II era four engine strategic bomber Petlyakov PE 8 was built with Charamsky ACH 30 diesel engines, but just after the war's end, both its diesels and gasoline fueled Michelin inline V 12 engines for surviving PE 8 airframes were replaced with Shvetsov designed radial gasoline engines because of efficiency concerns. The Yermolayev Ur 2 long range medium bomber was also built with Charamsky diesel engines. Other manufacturers also experimented with diesel engines in this period, such as the French Bloc later Dassault Aviation, whose MB-203 bomber prototype used clergy diesels of radial design. The Royal Aircraft Establishment developed an experimental compression ignition diesel version of the Rolls-Royce Condor in 1932, flying it in a Hawker Horsley for test purposes. Post-war development interest in diesel engines in the post-war period was sporadic. The lower power-to-weight ratio of diesels, particularly compared to turboprop engines, weighed against the diesel engine. With fuel available cheaply and most research interest in turboprops and jets for high-speed airliners, diesel-powered aircraft virtually disappeared. The near death of the general aviation market in the 1990s saw a massive decline in the development of any new aircraft engine types. 
Napier and Son in Britain had developed the Napier culverin, a derivative of the Junkers Jumo 205, before World War II, and took up aero diesel engines again in the 1950s. The British Air Ministry supported the development of the 3,000 horsepower 2,200 kilowatts Napier Nomad, a combination of piston and turboprop engines, which was exceptionally efficient in terms of brake-specific fuel consumption, but judged too bulky and complex and cancelled in 1955. Topic: <laughs> Modern developments. Several factors have emerged to change this equation. First, a number of new manufacturers of general aviation aircraft developing new designs have emerged. Second, in Europe in particular, avgas has become very expensive. Third, in several particularly remote locations, avgas is harder to obtain than diesel fuel. Finally, automotive diesel technologies have improved greatly in recent years, offering higher power-to-weight ratios more suitable for aircraft application. Certified diesel-powered light planes are currently available, and a number of companies are developing new engine and aircraft designs for the purpose. Many of these run on readily available jet fuel kerosene, or on conventional automotive diesel. Simulations indicate lower maximum payload due to the heavier engine, but also longer range at medium payload. Topic: Applications. Topic: Airships. The Zeppelins LZ-129 Hindenburg and LZ-130 Graf Zeppelin II were propelled by reversible diesel engines. The direction of operation was changed by shifting gears on the camshaft. From full power forward, the engines could be brought to a stop, changed over, and brought to full power in reverse in less than 60 seconds. Navil Shute Norway wrote that the demonstration flight of the airship R-100 was changed from India to Canada, when she got petrol engines, because it was thought that a flight to the tropics with petrol on board would be too hazardous. It is curious after over 20 years to recall how afraid everyone was of petrol in those days c. 1929, because since then aeroplanes with petrol engines have done innumerable hours of flying in the tropics, and they don't burst into flames on every flight. I think the truth is that everyone was diesel-minded in those days, it seemed as if the diesel engine for aeroplanes was only just around the corner, with the promise of great fuel economy. Hence, the ill-fated diesel-engined R-101, which crashed in 1930, was to fly to India, though her diesel engines had petrol starter engines, and there had only been time to replace one with a diesel starter engine. The R-101 used the Beardmore Tornado Aero diesel engine, with two of the five engines reversible by an adjustment to the camshaft. This engine was developed from an engine used in railcars. <laughs> <laughs> Certified engines <laughs> Technify motors Continental Motors, Inc. subsidiary Technify Motors GmbH of Sankt Egidien, Germany, is the new TC holder of the Thielert TAE 110 certified by the EASA on 8 March 2001, a four-cylinder, four-stroke 1,689cc engine with common rail direct injection, turbocharger, 1 to 1.4138 reduction gearbox and FADEC producing 81 kilowatts 109 horsepower at takeoff at 3675 revolutions per minute and 66 kilowatts 89 horsepower continuously at 3400 revolutions per minute for 141 kilograms 311 pounds 
The TAE 12501, certified the 3rd of May 2002, is the same with a 1 to 1.689 gearbox, weighs 134 kilograms, 295 pounds, and outputs 99 kilowatts, 133 horsepower, maximum at 3,900 revolutions per minute and 71 kilowatts continuous at 3,400 revolutions per minute, like the later 1,991 cc TAE. 1250299 certified on the 14th of August 2006 and also on the 6th of March 2007 for 114 kilowatts 153 horsepower at 3900 revolutions per minute 97 kilowatts 130 horsepower at 3400 revolutions per minute the Centurion 4.0 is a four stroke 3996 cc 8 cylinder with common rail two turbocharged Chargers, 1 to 1.689 reduction gearbox, propeller governor and Fadec weighting 286 kilograms, 631 pounds, and certified on the 26th of September 2007 for up to 257 kilowatts, 345 horsepower maximum, 243 kilowatts, 326 horsepower continuous at 3,900 revolutions per minute. The Centurion 4.0 V8 has not been certified for installation in any airframes. EASA certified on the 20th of June 2017. The Centurion 3.0 is a 2,987 cc four-stroke V6, also with common rail, turbocharger, electronic engine control unit (EECU), and one 1.66 reduction gearbox, weighting 265 kilograms (584 pounds) and outputting 221 kilowatts (300 HP) at takeoff, 202 kilowatts. 272 HP continuously, both at 2,340 propeller RPM. Topic: Thielert. Thielert, based in German Liechtenstein, Saxony, was the original TC holder of the 1.7, based on the Mercedes A-Class turbo diesel, running on diesel and jet A1 fuel. It was certified for retrofitting to Cessna 172s and Piper Cherokees, replacing the 160 horsepower, 120 kilowatts Lycoming 0320 CU in 5,200 cc Avgas engine. The 134 kilograms, 295 pounds of the 99 kilowatts, 133 horsepower, 1.7 engine is similar to the O320, but its displacement is less than a third, and it achieves maximum power at 2,300 prop RPM instead of 2,700. Austrian aircraft manufacturer Diamond Aircraft Industries offered its single-engine Diamond DA40TDI Star with the 1.7 engine, and the Diamond DA42 Twin Star with two offering a low fuel consumption of 15.1 L, H 4.0 US gallon per hour. Robin Aircraft also offered a DR400 Ecoflyer with the Thielert engine. In May 2008, Thielert went bankrupt and although Thielert's insolvency administrator, Bruno M. Kubler, was able to announce in January 2009 that the company was in the black and working to capacity. By then Cessna had dropped plans to install Thielert engines in some models, and Diamond Aircraft has now developed its own in-house diesel engine, the Austro engine E4. Several hundred Thielert-powered airplanes are flying. Topic. SMA engines SMA engines, located in Borges, France, have designed the SMA State Route 305-230, a direct-drive four-stroke, air and oil-cooled, turbo-diesel of four horizontally opposed cylinders displacing 4,988 cc 304.4 cu in with an electronically controlled mechanical pump fuel injection, it obtained EASA certification on 20 April 2001 for 100 169 kilowatts 227 horsepower at 2200 revolutions per minute weighting 195 kilograms 430 pounds 
A 194 kilowatts 260 horsepower State Route 305 minus 260 was certified in February 2019. The State Route 305 minus 230 obtained USFAA certification in July 2002. It is now certified as retrofit on several Cessna 182 models in Europe and the US, and MAL is working towards certification of the M9 230. SMA's engineering team came from Renault Sport Formula One and designed it from the ground up. SMA develops a 330 to 400 horsepower six-cylinder version, the State Route 460. At Aero Friedrichshafen 2016, SMA debuted a high-power density engine demonstrator, a 135 horsepower, 100 kilowatts, 38 cubic inch, 0.62 liter single-cylinder four-stroke for 215 horsepower, 160 kilowatts per liter, scalable from 400 to 800 horsepower and up to 1.5 horsepower per pound. 2.5 kilowatts per kilogram power density with a specific fuel consumption of 0.35 lb per horsepower per hour 210 grams kwh topic <inaudible> austro engine Austro engine GmbH, based in Wiener Neustadt, Austria had the E4 engine certified by EASA on 28 January 2009. It is a four-cylinder, 1991 cc four-stroke engine with common rail direct injection, turbocharger, 1 to 1.69 reduction gearbox and an electronic engine control unit. It produces 123.5 kilowatts, 165.6 horsepower at takeoff and continuously at 2300 propeller rpm for 185 kilograms, 408 pounds. The same weight E4P was certified on the 26th of March 2015 for 132 kilowatts, 177 horsepower at takeoff at the same speed and 126 kilowatts, 169 horsepower continuously at 2200 propeller rpm. In 2011, Austro Engine was developing a 280 horsepower, 210 kilowatts six-cylinder in cooperation with Stair Motors based on their 3.2 liter block to be used in the Diamond DA50. Topic: <inaudible> Diesel Jet. Dieseljet S R L of Castelmaggiore, Italy, had its TDA County Route 1.98 volts EASA certified on the 11th of June 2010, a 1.9 L liquid-cooled four-cylinder, four-stroke, eight valves engine with a turbocharger and common rail injection, a 1 to 0.644 reduction gearbox and dual FADEC. It produces 118 kilowatts, 160 horsepower at takeoff and 107 kilowatts 146 horsepower continuously at 2450 propeller rpm for 205 kilograms 452 pounds the TDA County Route 2.016 volts, certified the 8th of March 2016, is a 2.0 L16 valves engine with a 1 to 0.607 reduction ratio and a similar configuration, producing 142 kilowatts, 193 horsepower, continuous and 160 kilowatts, 217.5 horsepower at takeoff at 2306 propeller rpm for 219 kilograms 483 pounds in 2016 dieseljet was developing a 240 kilowatts 320 horsepower tda county route 3.024 volts topic continental motors 
Continental Motors, Inc. of Mobile, Alabama, received on December 19, 2012, a type certification for its Continental CD230 under the official TD300B designation, a turbocharged four-stroke direct-drive flat-four air-cooled engine of 4,972 cc, with direct fuel injection and electronic control unit with a mechanical backup, outputting continuously 230 horsepower 170 kilowatts at 2200 rpm for 431 pounds 195.5 kilograms dry it is developed from the sma state route 305-230 topic red aircraft Red Aircraft GmbH of Adenau, Germany, obtained EASA type certification on 19 December 2014 for its 6134cc Red A03V124 stroke, with common rail, turbocharger, 1 to 1.88 reduction gearbox and single lever FADEC, EECS, outputting 368 kilowatts 500 horsepower at takeoff at 2127 propeller RP and 338 kilowatts 460 horsepower at 1995 propeller rpm continuously for 363 kilograms 800 pounds dry the Red A05 is a 3,550 cc V6 preliminary design, outputting 300 horsepower, 220 kilowatts, at takeoff at 2,127 propeller RPM and 280 horsepower, 210 kilowatts, continuously at 1995 propeller RPM, with a 210 grams kilowatt per hour, 0.35 pounds horsepower per hour, best brake specific fuel consumption. Topic. Experimental engines A number of other manufacturers are currently developing experimental diesel engines, many using aircraft-specific designs rather than adapted automotive engines. Many are using two-stroke designs, with some opposed piston layouts directly inspired by the original Junkers design. Diesel Air Limited, Wilkshire and Zosh have all had considerable problems bringing their prototype designs into production, with delays running into several years. The Diesel Air Limited powered airship is no longer registered by the Civil Aviation Authority in the UK. Topic. Two-stroke Wilkshire Airmotive, a British company, is developing a 120 horsepower 89 kilowatts three-cylinder two-stroke diesel WAM 120 and is working on a four-cylinder 160 horsepower 120 kilowatts design WAM 160. In 2007 Wilkshire claimed that they had completed multiple tests on the WAM 100 LSA in accordance with ASTM F2538 The WAM 100 LSA is a derated WAM 120. Wilkshire originally showed a two-cylinder prototype alongside the three- and four-cylinder models. In April 2008 Indus Aviation introduced the first diesel light sport aircraft with a WAM 120 having flown 400 hours on a Thorpe T211 in England for the past four years. By mid-2009, approximately 40 WAM 120 units had been sold, with around half currently flying. The British owner of a Vans RV9A fitted with a WAM 120 reports getting 125 kn 232 km per hour TAS at 6,000 feet 1,800 meters on 15 litre per hour of Jet A1 fuel. A Rutan Longes Canard Pusher -E -E has also flown with the WAM 120 engine with test flights showing a TAS of 160 kn 300 km per hour at 11,000 feet 3,400 meters and 22 liter per hour. 
at economy cruise of 125 kn 232 km per hour at 2000 feet 610 meters the fuel consumption is 12 liter per hour giving a range of 1890 nmi 3500 km delta hawk engines an american company is currently developing 3 v4 designs of 160 180 and 200 horsepower 150 kilowatts the latter two versions being turbocharged using a ported two-stroke design they have also flown a prototype engine in a pusher configuration velocity aircraft are claiming delivery of non-certified engines since 2005 and hope to achieve certification early in 2011 Delta Hawk engines have a dry oil sump, so they can run in any orientation, upright, inverted or vertical shaft by changing the location of the oil scavenge port. They can also run counter-rotation for installation in twins to eliminate the critical engine issue. A water-cooled Delta Hawk engine has been successfully fitted to a rotorway helicopter, weighing the same as an air-cooled petrol engine of similar power and being capable of maintaining that power to 17,000 feet. Gap Diesel Engine is a NASA development, with the branding Zosh Aero Diesel, the company Michael Zosh Antriebstechnik. In Munich, Germany has produced a prototype range of three radial air-cooled two-stroke diesel aero engines, comprising a V-twin, a single row cross four and a double row cross eight. A Zosch engine has run successfully in wind tunnel tests. Zosch seem barely closer to production than they were a decade ago. Andy Higgs Advanced Component Engineering designed a step piston 1000 horsepower 750 kilowatts V12 weighing 665 pounds 302 kilograms with the reduction gearbox to replace low end 580 to 1200 horsepower PT6s like in the Cessna Caravan a 350 horsepower 260 kilowatts 302 pounds 137 kilograms four cylinder with a gearbox to reduce the prop, RPM to 2,300 from 5,300, and a 1.5-liter V4 weighing 103 pounds, 47 kilograms and producing 120 horsepower 89 kilowatts. The 1000 in 3 L V12 can power generators, tanks, boats or blimps and V4 and V8 versions can be derived. Topic. Opposed piston engines The Burke engine, designed by Russell Burke, of Petaluma, CA, is an opposed rigidly connected twin-cylinder design using the detonation principle. Diesel Air Limited is a British company developing a 100 horsepower 75 kilowatts twin cylinder, therefore four-piston, two-stroke opposed piston engine inspired by the original Junkers design. Their engine has flown in test aircraft and airship installations. Unlike the Junkers, it is made for horizontal installation with a central output shaft for the geared cranks, the overall installed shape thereby approximately resembling a four-stroke flat four engine. Powerplant Developments, a British company, is developing a 100 and 120 horsepower 75 and 89 kilowatts opposed piston engine called the Gemini 100-120s that resembles the diesel air limited engine and uses the Junkers twin crank principle, again for horizontal installation with a central output shaft for the geared cranks. However, the Gemini 100 is an engine. Like Diesel Air Limited, power plant developments claim to be using Westlake Air Services for production. They have recently announced that Technam will test a prototype with the Gemini engine, as a superior air parts subsidiary Gemini Diesel develops three-cylinder two-stroke designs with six opposed pistons, a 100 horsepower, 75 kilowatts weighing 159.5 pounds, 72.5 kilograms, and a turbocharged 125 horsepower, 118 kilowatts weighing 175 pounds, 72.5 kilograms 
kg, both measuring 23 inches wide times 16 inches high times 23 inches long 58 times 40 cm times 58 cm and reaching 0.38 and 0.378 pounds, horsepower per hour 231 and 230 grams, kilowatt per hour BSFC, respectively, while larger three-cylinder, six-pistons engine would produce 180 to 200 horsepower, 134 to 149 kilowatts whilst weighing 276 pounds, 125 kilograms in 29 inches W times 16 inches H times 29 inches L 73 times 41.5 times 72.5 centimeters and 300 to 360 HP, 224 to 268 kilowatts turbocharged whilst weighing 386 pounds, 175 kilograms within 29 inches W times 19 inches H times 37 inches L 73 times 47.5 times 95 centimeters, while five cylinders, 10 pistons would produce 450 horsepower, 336 kilowatts whilst weighing 474 pounds, 215 kilograms within 29 inches W times 22 inches. H times 43 L 73 times 55 times 110 centimeters and six cylinder 12 pistons engines would attain 550 horsepower 410 kilowatts whilst weighing 551 pounds 250 kilograms in 29 inches W times 22 inches H times 48 inches L 73 times 55 times 122 centimeters burning 0.386 to 0.360 pounds horsepower per hour 235 to 219 grams kilowatt per hour the 100 horsepower version will cost less than $25,000 Westlake engine another UK based company displayed its A80 lightweight diesel engine at Friedrichshafen Aero 2015 Topic. Four stroke Wisconsin based Engineered Propulsion Systems develops its graphite liquid cooled V8 engine with steel pistons and compacted graphite iron crankcase for better strength and durability than aluminum at similar weight, increasing time between overhauls to 3000 h. It is managed by a Bosch AQ and consumes Jet A, JP-8 or straight diesel for general aviation aircraft and small helicopters, military drones, small boats or troop carriers, and its low vibration allows the use of composite or aluminum airscrews. At 262 horsepower, 195 kilowatts, 75% of the 350 horsepower, 261 kilowatts maximum power, it consumes 77 pounds per hour, 35 kilograms per hour, in comparison to the Continental TSI 0550E, which burns 110 pounds per hour, 50 kilograms per hour. Topic: Automotive derived. Raptor Turbo Diesel LLC, an American company, is currently developing the Raptor 105 diesel engine. It is a four-stroke inline turbocharged engine. Formerly Vulcan Aircraft Engines until September 2007, Eco Motors developed the M80 and M100 horsepower 75 kilowatts four-stroke four-cylinder diesel with Fadec based on a car engine for 98 kilograms 216 pounds dry but disappeared since 2008. The Fly Echo diesel is a three-cylinder, 0.8L engine producing 80 HP, 58, 8 kilowatts till 3,800 revolutions per minute and reduced by 1 to 1.50 to 1.79, derived from the smart car. It powers the Siemens Flyeco Magnus Effusion hybrid electric aircraft. Teos, Austro engine AE440 Within the Green Rotorcraft European Clean Sky Joint Technology Initiative Environmental Research Program started in 2011, an Airbus Helicopters H120 Calibri technology demonstrator equipped with a Hype AE440 high compression diesel engine, running on jet fuel, first flew on 6 November 2015. 
The power plant is a liquid-cooled, dry sump lubricated 4.6-liter 90 degrees V8 engine with 1,800 bars common rail direct injection, fully machined aluminum blocks, titanium connecting rods, steel pistons and liners, one turbocharger per cylinder bank, with an air-air intercooler. It weighs 197 kilograms dry without gearbox and the 330 kilowatts 440 horsepower installed power pack weighs 200 49 kg. Its brake-specific fuel consumption is 200 grams per kilowatt, h. It is manufactured by Teo's Powertrain Engineering, a joint venture between Mechachrome and D2T group for the mechanical design, engine main parts manufacturing, assembly and testing and Austro engine for the dual-channel FADEC and harness, fuel system, airworthiness. Topic. See also List of aircraft engines <laughs>